Let's check out this problem. We have x plus 2 all square is equal to 16. A lot of times, the common mistake is that um, whenever people are solving this, we're going to take the square root of both sides, which is good. And the mistake that is normally made is that people would say, this is 4, and then they subtract, and then they get, oh, x is equal to 2. Well, this answer is not quite correct. This is like half of the answer. Let us see what really goes on here. So definitely, I will be taking the square root of the left side so that the square and the square root would have canceled. That means I'm going to have to take the square root of the right side as well. But the thing is, I'm going to have to put a plus or a minus because whenever you take the square root of a number, you need to put a plus or a minus. So what we have here is x plus 2, and this is going to equal to plus or minus. And this is equal to 4. So what are we looking at? We're looking at two cases here. Case 1, we're looking at x plus 2 is equal to 4. And case 2 is x plus 2 is equal to negative 4. So let us sort this out. If we subtract 2 from both sides, case 1, then x is equal to 2. And that's our previous answer. But what about this? If we should subtract 2 from both sides, we're actually looking at that x is going to equal to negative 6. So there are two answers for this. x is equal to negative 6 as well as 2.